Hello there. Um, I've gone on a bit of a pre-Christmas craft binge in Hobbycraft and I thought it might be quite nice to share it with you. So these are the Hobbycraft Christmas domes. They've got little LED lights on. If you've seen my fairy, uh, fairy under glass video, you'll know that I've already used one. Well, I bought one before the last lockdown. Um, I've also restocked my tacky glue because I love this stuff. It's a really thick PVA and does, you know, it will stick most things to most things and it dries quite quickly, so it's quite handy. Uh, these are the kids' pony beads, so they have this in the kids' section. What you can't see very well on the camera is that they're actually iridescent, so they're sort of clear iridescent. These ones are black iridescent pony beads. Um, I use them quite often doing macrame and stuff like that. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, more pony beads. Yes, I got a lot of pony beads. Uh, oh, this is a non-stick rolling pin. It's only the little one because I'm going to use it for doing Fimo and stuff. Um, which I think is actually something I forgot to take a video of. Oh, this is one of their A5 sketchbooks things. I think I've got it upside down, which is not unsurprising for me. It's got 80 sheets of paper. It's good for sort of dry media pens. Uh, well, not pens so much, but pencils, colouring pencils. Um, you can use like fine liners and stuff. I wouldn't use markers or anything like that. But they're quite nice, smooth. Uh, this is the Hobbycraft exclusive Dale Around in mixed media paper, which means you get 10 extra sh sheets for the same price. So that's quite handy, you get that extra bit. Uh, these are Dale Around pearlescent liquid inks, and the, these are just really, really gorgeous. They've got all sorts of colours, um, but I just wanted to get a couple of just for sort of accents and stuff. So I've got a black iridescent and a purple. Ir this is the black iridescent. As you can see, it's got like just a real shimmer to it. Well, not iridescent, per pearlescent. Now this stuff I haven't tried before, but I thought I'd give it a go. It's interior liquid tape, but what it is, it's kind of like masking fluid. So you can use it as um, a masking fluid type thing, or you can use it for, you know, putting sticky uh, decorations on windows. This obviously is duct tape. This one has uh, cacti on it because who doesn't love a love it? nice succulent? Uh, this is another roller for doing um, inking and stuff for lino cuts and what have you. Uh, I just need another one because that. Uh, I decided to get this one because this is a really nice little set of, they're only small ink pads but you don't really need much. But if you're doing stamping or anything like that or you just want a bit of accent colour on things, it's quite nice to have these. And as I say, there's like 30 pads in one packet. Um, and there's, you know, it's not just normal colours, it's also there's a couple of like metallic colours as well. So it's a nice mixture of stuff. Uh, oh yeah, printing stamps because I thought it might be quite nice to be able to do like my own little stamps for like little products and stuff. Uh, I've had my eye on this one because Kevin's into uh, steampunk and stuff and it's always nice to have things with like gears and uh, that sort of thing on it. So that's a embossing folder uh, for, because I've got a bit a foldable big shop and that's quite nice i've got uh oh i got that's a small I think that's a small concertina sketchbook um as you know i've been doing quite a lot of drawing on those and just it's really handy to have them oh i got some fat quarters as well because they're three for 18 pounds uh i'm not being spo sponsored by hobbycraft it just happens to be the nearest craft shop to me uh, so there's Batman one and one was a Batman one is sort of and there's a Wonder Woman one but it has Wonder Woman and Supergirl and Batwoman in it so it's like pow bam that's quite cool uh, just thought it was quite colourful and fun uh, and then I got oh yeah I got these ones with uh, British birds on uh, particularly happy that it has tits on it because who doesn't like tits uh, what else have we got here uh, Oh yeah, another one because of the steampunkiness. Uh, so these are Sizzix Thinlits. So they're die cutters, and again, that goes in my big shop. Uh, I occasionally do needle felting because I quite like to get my aggression out. 
uh, and this is a nice red color which doesn't actually show up that well on the screen and I've got some air drying clay so this stuff is a sort of polymer clay and it's sort of when it dries it's it's still slightly flexible so it's sort of kind of spongy when it dries which is quite fun I've also really got into vellum paper lately because it's um, translucent rather than, it's not transparent and it's not opaque it's translucent so you can actually shine light through it and you can see things through it so it's like slightly thicker than tracing paper but it's just got this really nice uh, I don't know it's just a really nice quality that I'm really enjoying at the moment so I suppose it's that sort of semi concealed thing I've always been into that uh, and I've used it for fairy wings and I've used it to do some Christmassy bits at home as well including a pair of uh, uh, da -da -da -da, reindeer ears and antlers that I've been doing not for the actual ears and antlers obviously but for the embellishments to make them more Christmassy uh, which reminds me I must finish them before the end of today anyway that's beside the point so yeah so I've got a few different types so some with patterns some with just Oh, this one's a t texture paper and I just liked it because it's just weird um, so you got these odd well they're not odd textures that's the thing they're sort of like fairly normal textures but the sort of strange thing you get for doing car craft and shit like that stuff like that sorry right this is lovely 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 watercolor paper it's so smooth ideal for doing illustrations and stuff where you want to keep the details really crisp and it's just such nice paper like really sexy paper this again for car crafts obviously uh, I'm quite liking the craft paper at the minute because you can add a bit of color to it or you can dress it up and down it's quite nice more, more Constantine sketchbooks um, uh, a heat tool well I've got some uh, you know that shrink plastic you get the stuff that you I don't know if you remember shrinky dinks but basically that it's like a kind of plastic stuff more wool roving more polymer clay that one's purple which you can't actually see it looks black in this in under this camera which is bonkers but it is it's purple or mauve mauve it's mauve sorry it's mauve oh this craft paper roll which they were doing two for six pounds uh i got this one which is a black craft paper and it's actually quite a nice thick paper but i also got a green one as well because i bought the brown craft roll before which i really really like but i've still got quite a lot left so i did want to get that uh this is a needle punch punch needle punch needle adjustable punch needle uh, which I had a uh, one I bought cheap from wish a while back and I like the idea but I hadn't got on with it very well and of course the scissor sharpener which I haven't which I hadn't got but definitely need always always losing sharpness this is oh this is my metal press kit now I try bought this one because I was absolutely desperate to have a go at this uh, craft because it's just seems like good fun and a good way to personalize stuff more of the air drying clay various colors it's terrible isn't it I, d I just went absolutely bonkers in the shop just bought way too much stuff way too much stuff uh, some embroidery needles because I like to do sashiko uh, which is a Japanese embroidery technique so I wanted the long ones but it's also handy to be able to do some of the other ones oh return of the mac right this is a t all the yarns are named after terrible puns uh this is macrame yarn basically so it's cotton um and i tend to use it to make skulls which is why i make the why i have the um like skull hangs uh, which is why i have the pony beads because it fits on here so you can make like shiny eyes on the skulls and uh, one day I will show you how I, what, I, what I mean when I say that uh, and that was a nice petrol colour and I bought these little cutters because uh, I'm going to well I want to jazz up a paint your own ceramic dragon that I bought 
at, at a separate time. I haven't got around to doing it yet, but I want, wanted something that will make easy shapes. Uh, these I bought a couple of years ago, and I decided to buy a refreshing, a refresher of those because I really, really like the tape. It's basically, it's Create Tape, and it is like masking tape. But I just really like the fact that you got this rainbow selection, and then they're in the little paint pot. I mean, it's really cute and really twee, but I like it. Uh, these are foam pads, so they're double-sided adhesive foam pads, so you can make raised things, mainly for papercraft. And this yarn I got, which is a lovely sort of, it's russety brown and sort of bluey green colour, which sounds hideous, but it's really nice. And it's really squishy and chunky. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that, but something. Oh, this one I was going to make into a spooky house. Um, but it's a Christmas one and it's designed so you can put like tea lights or fairy lights or whatever in it. But I want to spoopify it because I love a good spoop. Oh, flower press. This is an instant flower press. This is one of their kids' things. And I thought this would be a really cool thing to play with because uh, the idea is you have really quick dry flowers in your microwave um, and that's good for like acrylic resin and stuff and I wanted the ellipse this one is uh, ellipse template um, I've got the circle squares pentagra pentagons and hexagons but I haven't got the ellipse and the ellipse is quite handy for doing circles oh and this was my big purchase I mean the other stuff I spent way too much on anyway but this is this is my new baby uh, it is a cricket cutting machine and this is the cut the cricket maker I treat myself to some extra pens to go with it so it's got like glittery pens and what have you but they're all they're all black obviously but different types right, so you can cut and draw and score and it's now got a new foil tool which you can get extra unfortunately so this will be all the Cricut goodies that I got coming up so pens and what else we got what else we got come on George hurry up hurry up oh yeah that'd be the, the scoring wheel kit so you've got a single scoring wheel and a double scoring wheel so depending how thick the material you're using a uh, single scoring wheel for thin materials double scoring wheel for thick materials uh, that is a little spatula -y thing and a scrapey toolie thing so you've got iron on uh, vinyl there and that is like the most gorgeous ruby red proper ruby slippers coloured sparkly stuff uh, so I've got gone mental with this uh, printable vinyl uh, here and these are in A4 sheets so you can make like sticker sheets with this or you can make you know whatever your own designs are and stick them all over the place stick them wherever you like so to speak now uh, what we got next oh yeah transfer tape obviously because you need to be able to transfer from the your cutting mats onto whatever it is you're doing I don't know why I just did that I don't even know what that was but yeah so oh yeah I meant yeah I've got two of them because they were I think they were on a special offer I can't remember 25% off or something I thought I might as well get to that is a holograph holographic iron-on so you can put so th and this one is the metallic vinyl so this is a permanent vinyl which you put on hard surfaces so you can put it decorate vases and ceramics and wood and you name it this will go this will go and stick on that but it's permanent so don't stick it on your windows this is another iron on one another holographic one as you can see i, I love a good sparkle uh, seems a shame to have all these things that can sparkle and then not actually sparkle this one's little dot so it's like a little dot mosaic so you only see the red bits where the white is is just the backing so that's really cool uh, that's another one of the metallic ones because they we didn't have the they they didn't have these in the store a while back these have only just come in and they're just so nice looking they look like you know proper metal anyway that's it I'm pretty sure I bought other stuff but I can't remember what it what it was 
Oh, I couldn't find it. But I'm sure you'll be seeing it over the next few months. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.